today I want to show you how to create believable shadows using your original image. So we're going to start with this player image here on our um, breaking ground baseball background. Um, so first thing I want to do is let's um, set up our workspace so that we can see um, the original and our template side by side. So what we're trying to do is recreate the shadow that you see here in our template. And to do that, uh, we've already got our cutout player in the template here. I'm going to click on my, I'm going to hold down my control key while I click on this layer, and that's going to create a selection for me. Now what I want to do with this selection is I want to make um, a new layer. So let's go ahead and add a layer. This is going to be a shadow layer, so let's drag that layer below our player layer. And we're going to fill that with black. So edit fill, fill it with black, and control D on your keyboard to deselect the layer. Um, so let's go ahead and name that shadow. Um, and so the next thing we want to do is we want to create, uh, we want to distort that shadow so that it looks similar to this. So let's go up under Edit, Transform, Distort. Now what we can do is we can grab this middle um, handle right here and let's bring it down and let's sort of drag it sort of way over this way so that it's somewhat similar to what you're seeing there. And we can hit enter on our keyboard to go ahead and apply that transformation. Um, now what you can do is uh, you can use your brush tool if you want to paint in any additional areas. I mean, it doesn't make it exact to this, but I also don't think it has to be exact. Uh, but we want, might want to paint in a little bit more here as we can sort of see under his foot. So let's go grab a brush. Uh, we're painting with black. It's a pretty hard shadow, so we're going to keep our hard edge brush. And let's just kind of go in here and just try and mimic what you're seeing over there. Make that a little bit smaller. Um, and this sort of, okay, just so that it's at least touching because um, this foot shadow is touching. Now I'm going to go ahead and just sort of fill that in. And now what we can do is we can come up to our opacity and I don't know, let's maybe put it at about 75% and then you can start to sort of see uh, the image, uh, the background coming through. Um, but what I like to do is right click on the shadow and let's get some further blending going on. So once our blending option box comes up, we're going to hold down our Alt key. We want to affect this underlying layer here, okay? So while you're holding down your Alt key, you're going to grab the left side of this slider and see how it splits? Now if I drag it to the left, I want you to keep an eye on the shadow. You're going to see how the cracks in the earth sort of came through a little bit. That really um, helped to sort of blend the shadow in a little bit more. And that's what this blend if underlying layer will do for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And from there, I'd say that's that's pretty close. Um, I would maybe put a little bit of a blur on that. Not too much because it's a pretty hard shadow. So let's come up under Filter, Blur. Put a Gaussian Blur on it. Um, we're at about 2.5 here. I really wouldn't go too awful more than that since this is just, it's such bright sun and you really want this to be believable. So that's how I would mimic that particular shadow. Now I want to try a different shadow and show you um, a similar technique, yet a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to shut off that player. And let's go ahead and close out this player as well. Let's go back to our workspace and let's make them both vertical again. We're going to try and mimic this, this shadow. So I've got this picture already in here. Now I realize he is not on the mound for the sake of creating the shadow. I've moved him up a little bit here. So 
So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold down our control key and we're going to click on the picture layer. And you can see how that created a selection. We're going to create a new layer. And since it's a shadow layer, we're going to drag it underneath. Let's go ahead and name it shadow. And let's fill that with black. Okay, and then control D to deselect it. Now we're going to transform this layer again. So control T on your keyboard. Right click distort and grab the handle in the middle and drag it down. And just we're just going to try and mimic this somewhat. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be pretty close. So I want to keep it under his foot there. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, enter on my keyboard to apply that. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go back and I want to transform this again because I want to make this a 90 degree angle like we have here. So uh, control T on your keyboard, right click, uh, we want to rotate. And I'm going to take my, I want to rotate it from his toe here. So you see our center rotation, we're going to put that on his toe and then we're going to go ahead and rotate and it'll rotate right from there. Uh, okay, and hit enter on your keyboard to apply that. Now you can see that, you know, we've got a little filling in to do and that's where we go ahead and we grab the brush tool and we just start painting in. So again, we're going to try and closely mimic what we see here. So we've got black. And, let's, and we're still on our shadow layer, so let's go ahead. We've got sort of a thin area right here, so let's paint that in. And then it kind of comes across and goes somewhat like this. Again, we don't have to be perfect with this, but we want to get it sort of in the general vicinity so that it's believable. And this one we want to come down and maybe bring it down a little bit under his toe here. Maybe a little bit more here. And we've got a little bit here that we probably don't need. Um, so we can put a layer mask on here. And we're already painting with black. So if we paint in the layer mask, it'll paint out the areas that we don't want in there. Um, so we kind of get the general um, shape that we want here. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this opacity. Um, again, we'll start with 75 and see how that looks. Now this has a little bit more of a blur to it, so let's go ahead and put um, a Gaussian blur on that. And we're going to add just, just enough, um, maybe 3.5. For this particular one, I don't think I'd go much more than that. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and um, right click on our shadow layer, choose our blending options. And again, we want to sort of um, blend the background with the shadow. Again, so let's hold down our Alt key and click on the right side of the slider so that it splits it. And we're just going to drag it to the left until sort of like what we're seeing and that's really nice you can see how that shadow really blended in there nicely I like it right there so I'm going to click OK and so then the last thing I would do with this um, is you can see how the shadow is very dark here and it sort of trails off now ours is trailing off um, a little bit so what I want to do is I want to click on our mask layer that we've already created I want you to grab your gradient tool and you want to make sure that black is your foreground color. And then you want to come up to your gradient options and we want to make sure that you are your gradient tool is foreground to transparent. We're going to click OK. Now all you need to do is when we drag our gradient tool, it's going to drag it from black on the left to transparent. Watch what happens here. And again, we're in our mask layer, so I'll hold down. I'm going to hold down my shift key because I want this to go in a straight line, and just a little bit. And you can see how that sort of trailed off there. And I really, really like how that looks. Matter of fact, I think I might go back here and just play with this opacity a little bit. I might bring it down just a little. 
And that's how I would attack that shadow. So um, there were two different techniques for creating shadows. Um, and that's it. Um, you can paint in. What we basically want to do is just make sure that you're closely mimicking your image that you start with for a, um, for a believable composition. Mm -hmm.